today's kind of a downer for me right now because today is the death of my mom. I'm still dealing with my depression as you previously seen my house got really 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 bad like you couldn't even see the floor like what was i thinking god was he had his hand on me bro he was spreading my videos across youtube and i'm over here depressed over a man that didn't appreciate me I need to start posting some more content because I'm falling back and I don't want to do that again so just wanted to jump on here and just say hello I am still alive thank you Jesus yes! and as you can hear my kids in the background but uh, right now we at Mount Mike's about to order some food and head back to the house today is kind of a downer for me right now because Today is the death of my mom, six years ago. So I'm trying to bring up my mood and like try to do some things with the kids and stuff like that. You watching in basketball? Oh, I 
You can't get in. You can't open it. Take your butt. You're riding the zebra? Go, go, go! Hello everyone, today I'm at the park, um, I gotta go get my kids a little bit, um, but I just want to say that I'm doing a little better, I'm still dealing with my depression as you previously seen, my house got really, really, really bad like you couldn't even see the floor in my house that's how bad it was i was living like that for weeks and nobody known until now now that i posted on youtube but it's been bad like it was worse than that actually that was just when i just started cleaning up like it got bad bad but my depression started i would say in january creeping up and I just now started to come to my senses and like know that I need some things I needed to heal from and do some inner work and stuff like that and get back get back right with God. But it's been hard. Like I've been taking it day by day. It's now April, so that's been months. You know what I mean? Dealing with all that depression and just keeping it in the inside and not telling nobody like I was dealing with depression silently. And I don't want to do that. And I don't want nobody else to do that. Like, if there's anybody that you could talk to, reach out to, please do so. Because some people don't even survive that. It gets real to the point where people don't even want to be here no more. And I've been at that mindset before. And I don't ever want to see nobody go through that. So... I just want to give a word of encouragement as far as just, you know, ask for help when you need it. If you're really deep down in depression, you feel like nobody's listening, there is nobody out there. Even if you just reach out on somebody on social media that you don't know, somebody's there to be a listening ear. Just know that. Um, but just know somebody's there for you, regardless if they're family or not. But I would advise you to reach out and that's what I'm doing just now is reaching out and being transparent about my situation and surviving as a mother with a mental illness dealing with anxiety and depression all in one you know what I mean single mother at that but yeah I would just say ask for help. Never be too prideful to ask for help. But yeah, I'm about to jump off of here. I just wanted to give you that little encouragement. If anybody that's dealing with depression or anxiety or antisocial, please have somebody in your circle. Even if it's just one person, try to have somebody that you can find in and talk to about whatever you're dealing with. But yeah, I, go, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And it's a beautiful day today, as you see. It's not too hot, but it's a little windy. But, yeah. Yo, look at my face. I need to tweeze it. My hair is growing back, bro. But yeah, I'll check back with y'all in a minute. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye. <laughs>
I cheat 40K. And tell me why I think it was in June I achieved another 20K. Like, what was I thinking? God was, he had his hand on me, bro. He was spreading my videos across YouTube. And I'm over here depressed over a man that didn't appreciate me. And I got people supporting me looking at my videos. 40K views, bro. The 40K video, 40K views. Shamika, you cannot do that no more. Don't ever let a man come in between what God has planned for you. Are you serious? So that was 60 altogether, 60K. Close to a, a little under 100K. A, a little under 100K of my videos being viewed. Bro, this is unreal right now and tell me why i only have like under a thousand k i only have under a thousand k sub subscribers on my youtube so i'm not even big bro i'm not even even to the ten thousands one k of subscribers but my videos are spreading people are watching my videos regardless if they don't like it or not it's still spreading. This is confirmation. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't let nobody get in between of what God has planned for you. Stay in prayer. Stay in the word. Keep the faith. Don't give up on yourself. Don't allow anybody to determine how you feel about yourself, the way you look about yourself. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are amazing. You are inspiring. You are ambitious. You are determined. And you can do anything as long as you put your faith in God. As you see, there's proof right there. And I only have under 1K subscribers on my YouTube. I have under 12 people. If you guys go to my... um. If you guys go to my uh, uh, Instagram, I posted another achievement I made on um, Lemon 8. Lemon 8 just got published not too long ago, probably a couple of years ago. Lemon, they just made Lemon 8 a couple of years ago. And I have over 10K, 10K views on there. And I only have 12 followers on there. Don't tell me just because you have a low engagement or a low following that you still can't make it, bro. Thank you, God. I needed this. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube. So today um, we're actually headed to church. Um, but we'll go brush your hair. Go brush your hair and look in the mirror and go brush it. Um, today we're headed to church and it's been a while since I've been to church. It's probably been some months since I've been to church. Like, I have a problem of staying consistent of going to church consistently. And I want to correct that. And I'm asking God to help me get disciplined. Like I said, I don't know who's watching my videos. But if you guys are a loyal watcher and you watch the majority of my videos, you probably heard me mention that I want to stay consistent of going to church routinely. So... Um, starting today, we're headed to church. Um, yeah, so it's been a while. I want to be really be involved. Like I mentioned in my other video too, as well. I really want to be involved in my church and get to know church members. Like I'm just going there for the services and leave. Like, I just feel like that doesn't really do too well for me. I want to be able to be able to meet people and build a relationship and really fellowship with them and build a relationship a personal relationship with them and build my faith because iron sharps iron so it's like i'm going there to hear the word but i'm not really going there to fellowship and build our relationship with anybody so i want to be able to have that change and i'm allowing god to you know fix that and shed off some layers and take out take out take out some bad seeds um, that's been, you know, in my heart that needs to be taken out, needs to be pruned out and just renew me and get more discipline and be able to go to church.
ritually. So yeah, we're heading to church in a little bit. Enjoying the sunny sun sun. My niece actually just had her baby yesterday, last night. So amen, glory to God. It was a healthy baby, baby boy. Um, yeah, it's a lot of blessings happening around this way. You know what I mean? Babies are being born. We're going back to church. God's bring me back to his home, you know? And yeah, it's, it's such a blessing. And I know you guys seen in my previous clips that I've been dealing with a lot. And I just ask for your prayers and just, you know, I'm keeping the faith and keeping, you know, my mind and my spirit in the word and just being dedicated to God this time and not to my own self or flesh, fleshly desires. So I know it's going to take some time. Nothing happens overnight. And I know I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. But, you know, I'm definitely going to have to change some of my ways and some of the things that need to be worked on. I'm allowing God to do that as well. So, yeah, I just want to check back with you guys. I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday. Today is May 4th, and it is a day before Cinco de Mayo. I don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo, but whoever does, I hope you guys are getting prepared for Cinco de Mayo, the holiday, and spending time with family. And, yeah, I will check back with y'all. Probably when I get out the church. I don't know if I'm a vlog when I get into church. We'll see how it goes. I'll check back with y'all in a minute. Bye. Guess who's sick and stuff and congested? I am. My kids, I don't know how they got me sick. They ain't sick, but I am. My nose is running. <sighs> I was supposed to get some cough drops, but I forgot once I got out the store. Then I remembered at the last minute. I'm like, I'm not turning back around. So I don't know if I'm going to go back to the store later after I go get the kids or just wait i mean my throat's not bothering me now it's just my nose i'm all stuffed up <sighs> why every time i try to be productive here comes some type of situation obstacle in a way of me doing what i need to do 
I don't feel good. I'm trying to lay down before I go get the kids. I got to get the kids in less than an hour. So I'm trying to lay down and get a little bit of rest before I go get them. And then, um, yeah, I just want to check back in with you guys. Uh, it's been days since I checked back in with y'all. So, yeah, trying to continue, you know, recording this content so I can push it out for you guys and keep y'all updated what's going on with me. But right now, currently, I am sick and I have a little cold. So keep me in y'all prayers. All right, guys, I'll check in with y'all in a minute.